we're going to be installing some Novsite 2 inch off road pods, which I've already started to assemble. And you're probably asking where I'm going to put them. So, you might have noticed this uh, gatekeeper off road knuckle bracket. So, we're getting some uh, knuckle tire lights, I guess is the way to put it. So, I've already got the wheel off, got it jacked up so I can turn back and forth. And I've already gone and loosened and removed pretty much the top nut uh, for the wheel hub, hub, yeah, hub nut on the top, or bolt, hub bolt, that's what I'm trying to say. And then I'm going to take out the bottom one here. You do need a 12 spline uh, socket for this, and it's a 13 millimeter. So we're going to go ahead and take this one out, and yes, I have loosened it. It was not that loose before. Um, so we're going to get that out of there, and then we line up this bracket which will go eh, somewhere in there so let me get these uh, bolts out and we can put that bracket on all right this is gonna take some uh, kajiggering so I'm gonna take one of these bolts I'm gonna line it up like yeah. so no one said I'm good at being a cameraman and an installer so we're gonna get that one just started to be threaded there so that it won't flop all over. Take the other one, line it up down here, feed that in just a little bit. And yes, we have the Ugga Dugga because this will take way too long without it. But I will only do it to get them tight in there initially and then I will torque them down to spec. Uh, I'll put spec down on the screen now. All right. And since torquing them is pretty much a general procedure, I'm not going to record that because that takes way too much effort to try to record torque. So the lights, I'm going to go on like that, give or take. Obviously, I'm going to angle them once the tire's on. But we have lock nut, normal washer, and then or lock washer, normal washer, and a nut. So I'm going to have to put the camera down to do this because I uh, can't really hold pressure down while doing this. So let me get those on, and then we'll show how the wiring needs to happen. All right. So that's just a 13-millimeter nut that goes on these. Um, it's going to vary depending on your light. And these will have to be tightened up once I get the tire on so I can aim them. But your wiring needs to go and follow along the, if I'm not mistaken, the ABS line. I'll double check that to make sure. So in essence, we're gonna go through here, we're gonna loop into this, we're gonna follow it up, and literally just follow the ABS line all the way up and come right up to the engine bay. And with the nose sight, they do come with these extra long pieces of wire, so if you need to run a longer line, you can. Obviously, you're gonna need at least one extension for running up, because even without, that's that's all you got. That ain't gonna cut it. So, um, I'm gonna run this through, show you what it looks like. Day, slightly new location, had some issues. I'll go over that in just a second. But now I do have a light in place. And what I did is I followed the line down. And I just kind of zip tied it all the way up and then all the way up into the engine bay, following right there. And the controller is going to be zip tied right there. On the other side it is very similar, um, except for instead of going straight up the shock tower, which it looks like it is here. Actually, B-Lines follows the frame up and comes up the corner here because I needed a place that can go with all the battery and my massive wires that I need to redo. Um, so, long story short, Novsite is now going to be putting this on their website. Uh, 
I needed longer extensions to do this. And so they sent me a six meter, I think is what it is. I don't remember, I'll have to look. And uh, so they sent me one and that got me from the far side all the way over to the controller. So that works perfectly for what I need. Now I'm debating on if I take the power, which is over here, run it down and then run it to the VO switch so that that controls power overall because this does have a separate controller because it has some flashy flashes and stuff. So we've got, and it's also white, yellow, and some flashing colors. 